Hey everyone, welcome to another video by Optionables. My name is Saket and today in this video we are going to discuss the journey of Mr. Big Bull Rakesh Junjanwala from 5000 rupees to 40,000 crores. So definitely it is not an easy feat to achieve starting with 5000 and making 40,000 crores in one's lifetime. So we are going to discuss the bets he has taken and the risk he has taken to achieve this feat. Rakesh Junjanwala was born on July 5th, 1960 and he had a pretty normal childhood. He was born in a middle class family and the thing is how he got into the markets is because his father used to discuss about stock market in his house. So that's the reason he was familiar about what was stock market and how the stock prices move. He often used to observe the stock prices and always got fascinated. The stock prices were going up and down and this always excited him. In 1985, Rakesh Junjunwala qualified as Chartered Accountant. Right after that, he decided to enter stock market because stock market was his childhood passion. So he entered into stock market with just around 5000 rupees in 1985 and quickly he convinced his brother's friend to come as a client and give him two and a half lakh rupees. So even though he started with just around uh, 5000 rupees, he had two and a half lakh rupees which he had taken from his brother's friend. So he started buying shares of Tata Tea when it was trading just around 43 rupees. So he ended up buying close to around 5000 shares at 43 rupees. And for him, his luck was very good and within next three months, from 43 rupees, the shares went on to trade at almost around 143 rupees. So that means within next three months, he almost tripled his money. So he had put 5000 shares into 43, which was close to around 2 lakh and very quickly he got back 6 lakh as a return. This was his first big bet and it paid out really well. And from 1985 to 1988, he went on to make a lot of profit and his net worth was close to around 1 crore by the time of 1989. Between 1985 to 1989, he went on to take lot of such bets and went on to make close to around 1 crore as his personal net worth by the beginning of 1989. And 1989 is a very important year for Rakesh Junjanwala because he took his biggest bet back then and that was in a very famous stock Vedanta. So Vedanta was beaten down quite badly. So he started buying shares of uh, Vedanta when it was trading around 28 rupees. So he bought in the range of 28 to 35 rupees with his average coming anywhere close to around 30 to 35 rupees. So now he started buying the shares so aggressively that his net worth was close to around 1 crore and he ended up buying shares for almost entire 1 crore rupees and he put his complete bet on Vedanta. And this turned out to be so well that within a short span of time, Vedanta shares started to go up. And it went up so much that very quickly his investment amount doubled and the shares went on to trade around 50 to 60 rupees. From there on, it went up till 150 rupees and finally it almost reached around 2200 rupees. So he entered at somewhere close to around 25 rupees. He sold his last tranche of shares around 2200 rupees. So he took the exit in Vedanta in three phases. The first phase was somewhere around 50 to 60 rupees. The second phase was somewhere around uh, 150 rupees. And the third one was around 2200 rupees. So he had purchased close to around 4 lakh shares around the range of 25 to 30 rupees which amounted to close to around 1 crore rupees investment. This gave him most of the money what turned out to be the base capital for the further investments. Post this, after 1989-1990 till 1993, Rakesh Junjanwala became a part of the bear gang. When you say bear gang, this was the gang which was betting against shares of Harshad Mehta. So similarly, Rakesh Junjanwala also took a bet against Harshad Mehta in 1993. So in 1993, shares of ACC, which were just trading around 100-200 rupees, went on to go to around 3000 rupees. At 3000 rupees, Rakesh Junjanwala felt that there was no way fundamentals of ACC supported this kind of valuation because the stock was now around 3000 rupees and it was definitely not worth so much. So Rakesh Junjanwala did his analysis and found out it is definitely not worth so much and he started to short shares of ACC. Back then there was Badla system and immediate settlement was not necessary. So now the thing is uh, you can't do that. You can't carry an overnight short position in an equity share but back then you could do that. So Rakesh Junjanwala ended up shorting ACC around 3000 rupees 
but he was betting against the actual big bull during that time that was Harshad Mehta. Harshad Mehta was not done pumping ACC stock. So he had pumped all the way from nothing till 3000 rupees. He further started to pump the ACC shares to around 10,000 to 11,000 rupees per share. This was the time when Rakesh Junjunwala took a very big hit and he was almost about to go bankrupt if Harshad Mehta was able to hold his position for a week or so. So Rakesh Junjunwala's uh, share which he has shorted at 3000 rupees already is now trading at 11,000 rupees and any further up move or even if Harshad Mehta can hold his position for some time so the entire bear gang including Rakesh Junjunwala would go bankrupt. But luckily for him Harshad Mehta actually ended up getting caught. Right? So because of this shares of HCC started to crash. And not just that, during this time, so there was one more closed down company called as Karnataka Ball Bearings. And this company was completely shut and it had no operation and this share was trading around 80 rupees per piece. It is obviously not possible for a company which is completely shut down to trade at 80 rupees. So even there he had taken some bet where he had shorted Karnataka Ball Bearings and after Harshad Mehta ended up getting caught, he made huge profits out of these bets which he had taken. So he ended up making close to around 30 to 40 crores during 1993 just because he had taken a bet against Harshad Mehta. So by the end of 1993, so in 1989 he had a net worth of close to around 1 crore, by end of 1993 he had a net worth of close to around 200 crores. This is how Rakesh Junjunwala started with 5000 rupees of his own in 1985 and by the end of 1993 just around 7 years he ended up with a net worth of close to around 200 crores. So this is an impressive feat to achieve and it is definitely not possible without taking big bets like Rakesh Junjunwala. Up until now we discussed how Rakesh Junjunwala ended up achieving a net worth of 200 crores. But the thing is now we are going to discuss how he made this 200 crores into 40,000 crores. Obviously to achieve this he would have taken huge bets and we would be discussing about the same now. So the first and the most important bet after 1993 came in 2003 when he ended up buying shares of Titan. In 2003, Rakesh Janjanwala went on to buy close to around 4.5 crore shares of Titan trading around 3 to 4 rupees each. A bet of uh, close to around 15 to 18 crores in Titan. Back then, Titan was trading at a market cap of 160 to 200 crores and Rakesh Janjanwala alone ended up owning close to around 6% stake in Titan. So this turned out to be the biggest and the best bet of Rakesh Janjanwala up until now because market cap of Titan back then was around 200 crores and in 2022 market cap of Titan was close to around 1.2 lakh crore. So you can imagine how this bet alone would have changed everything for Rakesh Janjanwala. So this company started to expand and do so well that this turned out to be a multi-bagger for Mr. Rakesh Janjanwala where an investment of just around 18 crores gave him a total return of close to around 11,000 crores. From 18 crore investment, he went on to make close to around 11,000 crores just because of one good share that is Titan. So if you recall the journey, his first share which ended up giving him the huge profit was also from the Tata group which was Tata T and his second bet which actually gave him thousands of crores was again from the Tata group which is Titan. So in 2003 itself, Rakesh Junjunwala also started focusing on a pharma company known as Lupin. Even this bet ended up giving him huge returns because Lupin was the largest manufacturer of TB medicines and when he started buying the shares, the entire company was just valued around 500 crores. So the thing is, he started buying shares of Lupin when the company was worth around 500 crores in the market. He sold all his shares when the company was valued close to around 50,000 crores. By 2008, Rakesh Junjunwala had an overall 4.3% stake in Lupin and by 2021, he exited Lupin completely with a huge profit of almost around 100x. Then came the next important bet which is in Krizil. So Krizil again is a rating agency and even this bet came in the year 2003 itself. 
So 2003 is quite a lucky year for Rakesh Junjunwala because most of his bet has turned out to be multi-baggers, whatever he put in 2003. So Krizzle is a credit rating agency which gives a rating such as A, A+, depending on how risky a bond is or how risky the credit is. It gives different ratings to bonds and credits depending on how safe it is. So if the bond is very uh, safe, then it usually gives AAA. If the bond is not so safe, then it will usually give B, C and so on. So the thing is, Rakesh Junimala took this bet as a bet in favor of the finance industry. Because whenever the finance industry starts to boom, that's when all these credit rating agencies will also start to do really well. So initially in 2003, he only purchased 10,000 shares of Krizzle, but by 2006, he went on to have close to around 55 lakh shares of Krizzle. So just from 10,000, he ended up adding close to around 55 lakh shares of because he took a massive bet on this particular company. Rakesh Junjunwala bought most of the shares of Krizzle when it was trading in the range of 300 to 400 rupees where he ended up betting close to around 20 crores and as of 2022 his stake in Krizzle is now worth close to around 1400 crores and even this bet turned out to be a massive hit. So most of the bets if you see in 2003 in Titan, Lupin or Krizzle turned out to be huge multi-baggers which ended up giving Rakesh Junjunwala a big boost to his net worth. Now I'm going to talk about a final investment which is uh, quite a big investment uh, what he has made and this came in 2019. Even though the time period is very short, his returns on this is quite huge. So this was investment in Star Health Insurance where he started buying shares of Star Health Insurance. So this is before it went uh, public in uh, 2019 at a rate of 155 rupees per piece. So he started buying 155 rupees per share and he ended up investing close to around 1200 crores in this particular company. So after this uh, Star Health Insurance went public, the shares started to trade close to around 900 rupees per piece. And because of this, his investment of 1200 crores gave him a return of close to around 7000 crores. His company right now owns a 17% stake in Star Health Insurance, which is valued close to around 7000 crores. So this is a brief journey of how Mr. Rakesh Jindanwala, the big bull of India, ended up starting from 5000 rupees and reaching 40,000 crores. One thing what we can understand from this journey is that to make it big, you have to bet big. We saw that uh, when he took a bet in Sesa Goa or Vedanta or even Tata T or even Titan or even Krizzle. All of them were big bets which paid him huge returns. And also Rakesh Junanala himself uh, tells one thing. The thing is, no matter how bad the fundamentals are or how good the fundamentals are, never to go against the momentum. So because he did this uh, mistake in 1993 and he had to face a huge consequence because of this. And that is one lesson he keeps sharing in most of his interviews that never go against the momentum no matter what the fundamental says. And also the second thing is he was always bullish on India. So he always looked ahead in time and he always discounted the future prospects and he always turned out to be right. So there is a famous interview with NDTV where uh, this was during the pandemic time when the host continuously keeps questioning Rakesh Junjunwala about how bad the economy is and how bad the data points are. For this, Rakesh Junjunwala keeps on telling, what you are telling me is the data from the past. So you have taken the data and you are reading that out. But actually the market discounts the future. So the thing is market will be seeing one year ahead or two years ahead and after two years or three years definitely the growth is going to come back things are going to stabilize people are going to move out and everything will be normal so the thing is uh, finally Rakesh Junjunwala gives up and tells that if you are so bearish on the market because of these data points you go short the market and I will end up buying all the stocks so finally we know who ended up being on the right side so it was Mr. Big Bull uh, who took a bet even during COVID and ended up being right so he was always uh, bullish on India, he was always uh, bullish on the progress of India and the Indian companies and his favorite group which he keeps on telling uh, in many interviews was the Tata group because of the ethics they hold. So this is a very inspirational journey for most of our traders and investors because uh, starting out small and going through the entire cycles of market for almost around 40 years and turning out to be the most successful investor that India has seen is not an easy task to 
achieved. Definitely, all of us are saddened by the demise of uh, Mr. Rakesh Junjanwala. So he had a fantastic journey in markets, and uh, let's try to be optimistic and always bullish on India, like how he was. So I wish that uh, you guys found this video informative and also got to know about his bets and his journey. So if so, then please do hit the like button, share this video, and also subscribe to Optionables. Thank you so much for joining.